one brother Roop here. We are in the book of Acts chapter 11 verse 6. I am testing out a new microphone. I got a new microphone and uh, testing that out. Hopefully it makes the audio better. So we are in books, Acts chapter 11 verse 6. And this is uh, Peter. He uh, was called by God to go to Cornelius and his family and preach to them. Cornelius and his family were Gentiles. And for Peter, it was against the law of Moses to go see and stay with Gentiles. But uh, that didn't matter for Peter because <laughs> he was uh, at Simon the Tanner's house, which was uh, against the law for him to be at. Anyway, so... Peter, hanging out with Gentiles anyway, so he goes over there and uh, while he's preaching, they all receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And well, you know, the apostles are kind of old school and traditionalist and uh, they call Peter on the carpet here to explain himself why he's hanging out with Gentiles. And uh, Peter is explaining himself and uh, just going over the whole story. Just, uh, just tell him what he saw and heard, which is pretty much the theme of the book of Acts. What you see and what you hear, that's what you tell people. So, verse 6, Upon the which I had fastened my eyes, I considered and saw four-footed beasts of the earth and wild beasts and creeping things and fowls of the air. And Paul's relating his vision, his trance that he got from God of all these unclean animals and this big tarp coming down out of heaven. Uh, I don't know why God just couldn't say, hey, uh, you know, all animals are clean now and Gentiles are clean too. <laughs> I, I don't know why God just didn't do that, but he didn't do that. He gave Peter his vision and had Peter figure it out. And uh, Peter did figure it out. He's smarter than I am. I mean, I probably wouldn't have figured it out. I'm not as, <laughs> but Peter, he, he figured it out. He, he understood that God was talking about Gentiles being clean now. But um, anyway, I don't know how he did it, but he did. And uh, so he's just relating that story. He saw this tarp with these animals come down from heaven. And also I want to point out creeping things. That's, that's a kind of like a King James term terminology. I just wanted to let it all know that uh, I like that <laughs> creeping things. That's it's one of the King James isms that I like is creeping things. So <laughs> that's a term I've always liked. So anyway, that's one of the reasons I read the King James version. Creeping things. That's that's one of those cool little words. Anyway, yeah, Peter. He's uh he's explaining himself and he's gonna win the argument here. So thank you very much.